What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions on your Steam Deck and we're going to install it as a non-Steam game. Now with that being said, let's get started. So firstly we need to be on the desktop mode and transfer our game over. There's a few ways of doing that. Once you have the game, now under home I've created a folder called games and we're going to install it as a non-steam game. Now with that being said, let's get started. So firstly we need to be on the desktop mode and transfer our games over. There are a few ways to do that. Next we're going to go to Dolphin File Browser and under Home I've created another folder called Games and this is where I'm going to have my game. Obviously you can keep your folder any way you want. And in here you can see Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions if I go into it, you can see the files are already extracted. Basically, this is the installed game from a PC transferred over to the Steam Deck. Okay, I'm just going to back out now and head over to the Discovery Store. And we need to install a few apps. So the first one is Lutris, which is an open source software that primarily provides installers for games not available on Steam. It can also act as a single app for your whole gaming library. It also lets you import games, launchers from other sources such as Epic Games, Ubisoft or Steam. Okay, we also need to install two more apps. So the first one is Proton QT, And this one allows you to install and manage different versions of Proton as not all games work on one version of Proton. And then under that you can see Proton Tricks and simply put this is a tool that easily allows you to install various Windows components to get some games working. So you just have to wait for all of the downloads finish. Obviously it will differ on your download speeds. So once that has finished we can close that and then click on the Steam icon on the bottom left hand corner and then under search type in Lutris. Select that. And once it opens for the first time, you should see all of these components installing under runners. If it doesn't, make sure you restart it or uninstall it and install again because without these, it's not going to work correctly. Okay, once that has finished, we can close it. And then we're going to go back to search again. And this time we're going to type in Proton and then launch Proton Up QT. And then we're going to go to the top and select Lutris and then add version then under compatibility tool you've got several options here and we're going to go with the Wine GE on the top well basically default and then under versions there's a whole bunch here but we're going to be going with 8-26 and then click on install so the install shouldn't take too long you'll see a progress bar here and I'm just going to speed up the video here. So once that has finished, you can go ahead and close the app. And then we're going to search for Lutris again. And then launch it. And now when it opens, we're going to go on the plus icon on the top left hand corner. Now if you're installing a game from an EXE, this is the option you're going to be selecting and it's pretty straightforward. But as I've got the game extracted, I will be using the add locally installed game. So we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to copy the name from the uh, Spider-Man folder here. So paste the name in. Then under runner, we're going to select there and go to the bottom and select wind. Then game options, we need to find the executable, basically the exe file. So in my case it's in home, then games, and then the Spider-Man folder. And here is the game.exe, I'm going to select that and tap on OK. Then we need to find the working directory. So basically I'm going to point it to the uh, Spider-Man folder. And then we've got other options. So under runner options, we're going to make sure it is on this version of Proton that we installed earlier. As from what I've read online, this is the recommended version to use for this game. And these other settings, we're going to leave it as default. 
and the same on the system options they're going to be default tap on save and then if we try to launch the game now it's, it's not going to probably work as you'll see demonstrated here as you can see it's asking to play again so what we need to do is go and configure the options again so we can right click here and go to configure or use the uh, icon on the bottom here and go to configure so we're going to go to game options and then under wine prefix we need to create a folder here that has basically some prefixes so i'm going to create it in my game directory and i will rename it to prefix you can call it whatever you want then we're going to go back to Lutris, then configure and basically point to the prefix folder. So once you do that, tap on save and then select play. And this time when you see this message, it should be showing your new prefix folder. And basically here it's going to be installing some of the prefixes. And the game should launch. There we go, the game has launched. So I'll just speed up the video here and just get into the game. So here the game appears to be fully working, but actually it's not. Spider Man is talking right now, as well as Madam Web, and you can't hear either of them. So what we need to do is exit it. So I will be using Alt Tab on my keyboard, stop the game, and then tap on this arrow icon here and then select wine tricks just wait a few settings we just need to wait for the window to open here it is so we're going to leave it on the default select the default wine prefix and ok and then we're gonna go to the icon here and just say no here and then again press on ok and this time we're going to be selecting the first option install a windows dll or component and ok and now what we're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom as you can see there are a lot of components here and we need to basically install xact and i believe the 32-bit uh, version is fine so we should see a pop-up tap on OK and then another one and here basically it's going to be installing once that has finished we should see the pop-up come in the background again as you can see there it is and then we can select play game and once again I'm going to skip right into the gameplay And here you can started. see, These well here you can hear Spider-Man talking as well as Madam Web and I that is it, the game is now fully working. Who am I to refuse a lovely lady? Lead on MW. Alright, you will need to reach that ledge. Okay, so the last thing to do now is exit the game and uh, stop the game. And what we're going to do now is basically add it to Steam. So on Lutris we're going to right click on the game. And then go down to create steam shortcut and now we can go ahead and close lutris and then go to the desktop and return to gaming mode to find the game so we're going to go to the steam library and then scroll to non-steam and here is the game and i've actually gone ahead and added the artwork and that was with decky loader and the steam grid plugin which gives you this extra setting to change artwork on the fly. So you can change from the cover to recents, the logos, etc. It's all there. Anyway, let's play the game. So here I don't need to go into properties and change the potent version. The default setting is fine and the game should launch. Now I'm not sure if this is specific to me as I am using a capture card right now. But if you see 4x3 aspect ratio and the graphics looking a bit bad, 
then what you need to do is basically load up your game go to continue and then go to options then go to graphics and for resolution we're going to scroll all the way to the right to 1280 by 720 and then change the aspect ratio to 16 by 10. Press A to apply and save the settings and you should be good to go to play on gaming mode. So that wraps it up for this video. This is how you play Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions on your Steam Deck. Now if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.